Eitthvað að kalla fjö. Should a new threat to the whole emerge, be heralded who will step up to meet it? Really? I'm not sure. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, oh, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemming Gurjan. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trukvi. I pledged my life's oath to Hemingel Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the Shire to see. You've done well, Trigve. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later, to save you from them once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigve is Hemthoth's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He is a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have the time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of hemming a yarl. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Hemming had desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? 
If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It's a good idea. But let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. This is an excellent shield, Soleva. Gunnar's craft never disappoints. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good. But it needs a touch of grandeur. Something personal for your father. A setial, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkerthorpe? He lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The arts are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. Hate me, be my eyes. This must be the cave Billy mentioned. Who would live here?
things that I'll most value is solitude, living in a hole such as this. difficult man to find. Uh. Heming a Jarl is dead. Mm. I was told you are a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heming a Jarl. The stones. Heming a Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? steady, as it was large. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? By his wisdom, always an inspiration. The web of weirs, then. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place. That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. Hemingway will be pleased with our gift. I wonder if Vili has found his spear.
Festive. Too festive. And too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyre's lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trukvi. I will do what I can to calm things. <sighs> Show me what lies ahead. <laughs> what a perfect figure you have. Poised, powerful, perfect. Me? Mm, yes. I cannot help but wonder, is your flighting as striking as you? How do you mean? I draw smiles from the women and winks from the men. I'm a poetry lover who's scaled with his pen. If you fancy a round, then approach and come speak. If you're lustful for verse, then I've got what you seek. I will flight with you. Perfect. With a wager, I mean. My wager? Thank you. Let us begin. What know you of the power of fleets to seduce? Are you even aware that they have such a use? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. You're a fool, and a braggart, and simply obtuse. Hmm. Expected you to be a bit smoother. No matter. Let's keep at it. I could feel when you entered, the room became warm. Though I doubted your flighting, I quite liked your form. On your every word, I can say that I'm hung. I'm as good with my lips as I am with my tongue. Yes, more! I could fleet more sweet nothings inside of your ear. Though I warn you, there's some of the lewdest you'll hear. But instead of just telling, I'll happily show. You are not so appealing, and thus I say no. You're brilliant. Are you certain I can't convince you to tarry a moment? We uh, could go somewhere and, um... It was only a flight. My winnings, please. Yes, of course. I was only... It was just a game, yes? Friendly banter? It's been a true pleasure. Be my eyes, Zunin. You mean Hemminger's famous fighting roosters? Dragons with mighty claw! Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. Uh, when you soap her up, steer clear of roosters.
What is this boda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. Please 
please retrieve my Voda, I beg of you. It is my funeral gift. The old... If this is your Voda, I managed to save it from the licking flames. You dared Surtur's heat, yes. A most potent drink, distilled from grain by the Rus of Kiev. Dip your horn and have a drink. A bit of drink in the belly never hurt. Watch yourself. The Voda sneaks up on you, quick. Go, Sudan. Hemingur Jarl was always fair and kind to us. Us as well. They are going to kill him. I told him not to do it. Now he's locked up in the house. Come out, you dung eating rat! What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I will speak with him, unmask his true intentions. Get that stain out here now! The people are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here on your own, before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please. There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. Oh my god! Use it! Get that stain out of here now! You need to get out! Now, Ben! You pay for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough! Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Hemming! I swear! I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Never inflict your Christian mysteries on a dead Norseman. But I only... These are your neighbors. Respect them. Learn their ways. And you will draw breath long into old age. Oh, no! There you are. Baptized as one of us. His water seems to have been restored. Now it's tricky to let him go. I've calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heminger would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trukvi. With time. Yes. It will.
Be my eyes, Zunin. Yard gone, can Lily hold the reins? Will he guide us through? You are the wolf kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Hemingway left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made, many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten, before the pyre is lit. Follow. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingriak with ale and open arms. the gift of foresight, Seer. Can you argue what is to come? I see what need be, Seer. When it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Heminga Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. <laughs> Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the god's wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trukvi, there's no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. Zunin, guide me. Ascend the sleeper. Take the drink. Be my 
my eyes. I need your eyes, my friend. Mingayal, is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's Hall? I will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Heminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory, as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my faith, then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. Is not how I remember you. You left me too soon, Heming Ayal. Your shadow's fate is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. Oh. 
Call lends me strength. Your edge is blunted by indecision. You late warriors now. Never waver. You did, Heming Ayal. You did. And that is why my words should land true. Trust your judgment. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, Eivor. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up?